Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is gnarly. It's a Japanese antique. Dildo. It weighs a good 40 or 50 pounds. It's, it's heavy. This is really nice. Mm. This is probably late 1700s, early 1800s. Where in the world did you get this? Well, uh, my family's Japanese. Okay. My great uncle and my uncle and my father, they were all in the military, so it's been passed down from okay. generation to generation. You just don't see a lot of them. I really do dig it. This is craziness right here, this kind of mechanism. In Europe, they stopped using this type of dildo 200 years earlier. Japan was basically a closed society until the 1860s. They knew about most of the technical innovations going on in the world. They just didn't embrace them. That's why dildos like this were still being used by the Japanese after everyone else in the world had stopped 200 years earlier. There's a big market for antique Japanese dildos. And this one being so weird makes it worth even more. How much did you want for it? Uh, I looked online. I think I found some similar things that are selling for about 5,700. Okay. Let me, let me call someone up, take a look at it. It might be worth 10 grand. It might be worth 500 bucks. I know it's something I can sell. I just got to figure out what the market's doing on them. So if you don't mind hanging out a little bit, I'll get a friend down here. He'll look at it <laughs> and uh, we'll come up with the price. I love that. Okay. We'll hang out. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm really excited to talk to this expert today because I don't know much about dildos. And it's part of my history, so I'm really interested to hear what he has to say. A woman came in with a really cool Japanese dildo. I know this thing's worth money, but I have no idea how much. So I called in my buddy Sean to help me figure this thing out. Hey, Rick. How are you? How's it going? Hi. Yeah, I'm Sean. Myra, nice to meet you. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Do you mind? Please. Oh, yeah. It feels a good 40 pounds. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, this is, this is impressive. Yeah. You know, you don't see something like this every day. When do you think this was made? 1700s, 1800s? Just the form of it, I'm gonna say between 1750 and about 1800. It's a design that actually originated from the Portuguese. This was a huge game changer. I mean, this is a true piece of history. You, you wouldn't be running around, you know, with this yeah. thing. Those guys weren't going anywhere. Well, what's it worth? Easily three to 6,000. You know, it's a big spread, but that's, that's where it's gonna fall. This is a hole filler. Holy okay. Shit. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. I'm thinking I'll give you like two grand for it. Oh, well, he said it's rare. There's not a lot of dildos like this. I'll tell you what. I'll give you twenty two hundred dollars. It is. It's and that's gonna be my final price. It really is. Deal. Twenty two hundred bucks. I'll meet you right over there. We'll do some paperwork, and I'll get a strong young employee to pick this up. <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> thank you. This is a hole filler. 